Hi, goat. Can you give me the analytics for last week? Ah, she's pretty silent. So, uh, can you give me maybe the uh, conversions for last week on our website for the forms? Mm, at least clicks. Can we understand where are people clicking on our website maybe? Ah, forget it. I'm not getting anything. As for a business-driven Webflow agency, and we do have custom analytics on our side, for every single one of the client projects we've built, we've usually contracted third-party vendors to go ahead and integrate custom Google Analytics setups. This way, we can track clicks on the websites, form conversions, create custom flows, and just in general, actually understand was our design, was our development successful, and based off of that, suggest new ideas to the clients. But that changes now. Just because we've released DataGoat, and with the app itself, you're gonna be able to go ahead and integrate custom Google Analytics setup directly in your Webflow dashboard with just a few clicks. Let's see how. So first, let's get an introduction of kind of what DataGoat is and what you can expect from it. And then I'm gonna install it on our website and showcase all of the data points you're gonna be able to see. Jumping to my screen here, you can see that DataGoat is a custom Analytics Webflow plugin for Webflow. And before DataGoat, you're gonna need to go ahead and learn GA4, create custom conversions. And in the end, you're gonna be having general data that is usually going to be pretty sucky in the end. With DataGoat, you're going to be able to add the custom events tracking. So like we're going to be adding a data layer on top of your website automatically. Then you're going to be able to preview the data that you have for the website directly in Webflow. So every single time when you go to your Webflow web website in your dashboard, you're going to be able to see DataGoat coming up and basically showing you data for your website in order for you to become the real goat. You're going to be able to track clicks. So whether it's going to be outbound clicks that are going off your website or in general, clicks through your website, you're going to be seeing and which buttons are people clicking the most and based off of that, optimize your website and just maybe even do some tests to identify are people going to be clicking a different type of uh, call to action more if you change copy and like you can really get into the marketing of your Webflow website. This one is probably my favorite as a monitoring leads coming to a website constantly and that's actually understanding kind of how much leads are you getting, what's your conversion rate on the leads because you're going to be able to see how much impressions they have, how many people have filled in the leads so you can also optimize your forms on the website whether it's going to be newsletter forms get a demo forms or anything of that matter by just installing data goat in one single click and the final thing is like you can see which pages are the most popular ones so you can see are people reading a specific blog the most are people visiting maybe the pricing page the most so you can get that data and understand what do you want to do with it and kind of how do you want to optimize the website based off of this on top of that you're also going to be able to see kind of all the channels kind of where are people coming from all of the countries how much time are people spending on the website and also you're going to be able to see sessions and engagement time in, in general. Let's see how easy it is to actually create an account with DataGoat and kind of how easy it is to actually get everything set up. So I'm going to go to the top. I'm going to go to sign up. So I don't have an account. Let's go ahead and sign up. So I'm the DataGoat. I'm going to do Urosh plus what da, 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 at flow.ninja. I'm going to add a password and I can sign up. Here, I'm using a test plan, so no worries there. So, I mean, basically, you're gonna have a seven day free trial. We're not gonna take any money out of your account. You're just gonna have seven days to see how does this work? Do you get any value from seeing the actual traffic amounts and like clicks and like stuff like that on your website? So based off of that, we're just making sure that we don't have a million of users coming to the website, but just the, the real goats who want to actually track their website. So after we've done that part, I wanna go ahead and authorize Google. So let me go ahead and sign in with Google. An important part here is that you need to first have a Google Analytics account. So if you haven't already, go ahead and create a Google Analytics account and set it up fully. And only then go ahead and basically connect it here. If you don't have the Google Analytics set up properly, you're probably going to have a missed step here and like you're not going to be able to see your data like a goat. So make sure to create a Google account first and only then jump to the step of actually connecting your Google account. So this is just because we're currently developing the app itself. So we're going to be going here and bam so google is connected successfully the next step is going to be authorizing our webflow account 
So at this case, we do have a lot of websites kind of on our, on our workspace. So I'm just going to select Flow Ninja. And here it's important to only select the websites you want DataGoat to run at. You can select multiple Webflow websites to go ahead and run DataGoat on, but I suggest starting with a single website, seeing how it works and only then proceeding further. And we can see that uh, DataGoat is successfully connected. After that, just because Google Analytics has like the main branch and then you need to set up and choose a specific property to track the data on, you're going to need to go ahead and select the project and connect GA4 afterwards. Bam! So we have the data goat connected. So let's go to the dashboard and see what we're going to get. So first off, you're going to see that we have another field here, open and copy script for custom field, uh, custom events and form submissions. So I'm just going to copy the code. I'm going to select the account, which is going to be Flow Ninja. I'm going to select the property of Flow Ninja main website, and I'm going to select the data stream of Flow Ninja main website. I'm going to be copying the script and I'm going to go and find my website. Again, we do have a million of websites here. So let's go ahead and settings. I'm going to go to custom code. And in my head, I'm going to be pasting in my code here. So you can see here that they do currently have the GTM and that they've pasted the code here, but I'm just going to delete everything and I can paste in like everything again. So just to make sure that I have my custom tracking added and save changes and go ahead and publish. This way, when I go ahead and add this custom script, I'm gonna start getting the link clicks, I'm gonna start getting outbound clicks, I'm gonna start getting form submission triggers and stuff like that. Based off of that, in order to get the most amount of uh, data out of DataGoat, you need to go ahead and paste the custom script. Deploying to CDN, let's wait for a few more moments. So the website is published successfully, and then I can get back to my data goat. Based off of this, I can see that over the past weeks, we had like 1.5K desktop, 471 uh, mobile, tablet. Every session duration is four minutes. Engage sessions per user 0 0.61. I can add another project if I want to. So that's also a possibility to go ahead and add multiple projects. And I can see the data here. After you have installed the app on your account and created the account itself, now it's time to the fun part, actually seeing the data. We can go ahead to our Webflow dashboard, launch the app itself and log in. So you can see that I'm logged in successfully. The most important thing is like, you're gonna be able to preview data for the current page, for the whole website. And also you're gonna be able to see the data for yesterday, last seven days, last months, last six months, last year. For the sake of tutorial, let's figure out how much people do we have on our homepage over the last period of a month and get into the deep details of kind of what the app itself is gonna be giving us. So the first thing is we're gonna be able to see visitors. So over the last month, the homepage had 3,600 visitors, uh, new visitors were 2.6K, and we can see uh, basically in every single one of the periods how much visitors was that. We can see a drop just because, I mean, like the week hasn't ended yet. Based off of that, we do see a small drop, but nothing to concern us. We can also do a last six months and just figure out how is our data kind of flowing for the last six months. Additionally, we can see the device. So over the last six months, the homepage had most of the people coming on the desktop of the device and like also on mobile, we have almost nobody, like 70 people, like almost a non-significant amount of people visiting it from tablet. The homepage is like average session time, engaged sessions per user is 2, points, uh, 2 minutes, 16 seconds and 0 0.57. Additionally, we can see what people have clicked. So that was the custom code that we added to the head. So you make you need to make sure to add a custom code and you're probably not gonna see the data for the first one or two days until Google starts processing the data itself. So don't be worried about uh, adding the code and you, like not seeing anything here. Or in general, if you're having a fresh account, you're probably not gonna see any data in the beginning. Just understand there, the data is gonna come after a few days. We can see that from the homepage, people are mostly going to pricing our work about us, Webflow agency and to work with us. And that we're linking outside of our website to some of these websites websites here. Additionally, it's pretty interesting that we can see kind of how much people are subscribing to our footer form. Uh, we can see the conversion right there. We can see kind of where are people coming from. So like from Google, Direct, Awards, YouTube, and also from the sessions, like how much sessions they had. We can see the countries, which countries are the most important, like the most important one, etc., etc. Also, we can go ahead and switch the, the whole thing around and see the whole website. And by seeing so, we can see the most clicked links on the whole website, outbound links. We can see all of the forms and the uh, basically conversions for the forms. 
we can see mediums, countries, and additionally, we're gonna see a different model pop up and that is basically page ranking. Here, we can identify which is one of the most visited pages on our website and hopefully we're gonna be able to optimize that a lot more or to figure out that people are going to a page that we are not thinking that they're going and that based off of that, you can start making some adjustments. In our case, we see that our work is the most visited one, then pricing, then Webflow agency, et cetera, et cetera. Additionally, you can see some of the Webflow resources that we're viewing, blogs and stuff like that, which is pretty interesting data to see kind of where are people coming from and kind of where are people going actually in the end. The final part that's kind of the most interesting is seeing the pages. You can go ahead to the pricing page and figure out the data for the pricing page. You can go to the blog and figure out the data for the blog. And then let's go ahead and last seven days. Basically, it's going to give you pretty interesting insights for your whole website that were pretty hard to find on Google before directly in your Webflow account. So without further ado, you can go ahead and visit the link down below to start your free trial and let us know the feedback because we're going to be shipping updates every single week.